Let's not mince words here. Gladys Berejiklian is putting New South Wales into a form of lockdown. It's a lockdown. Now you might say, Joel, it's just for four LGAs. I don't care. It's a lockdown. It makes no sense. We've talked about this week how lockdowns cause 10 times more deaths than the actual virus itself. The video I put out earlier this week, it's currently sitting on 547,000 views. That is not nothing. That shows that the health bureaucrats, the politicians that are leading us, are not following the science. That UK study is in the description. Check it out. This is ridiculous what's going on. And Gladys, whatever happens from here, with suicides, with anxiety, with depression, whether it be people not getting screened for cancer and detecting that early, or other diseases, that's on you. Any decision that you have has consequences, and you will reap the consequences when the election comes around for the state election. On top of that, you're also representing the federal, the federal government as well when it comes to the response to the pandemic in New South Wales, because the Prime Minister has backed exactly what you're doing. So if you keep locking things down further, there will be consequences. You know you're, you're going to be struggling with the electoral seats, particularly with the fall of the National Party. Pull your head in, keep things open. Lockdowns do not work. They do more harm than good. You might save a few people over here, but 10 times more will be dying because of the decisions that you're making. Be very responsible about this. Of course, I'm not saying you're a Dan Andrews. Of course, you're somewhere in between. Of course, the, you've got to follow the, the advice of the health bureaucrats. And of course, I see that the, the media are pressuring you. I mean, Q&A had an episode last night, particularly about whether New South Wales should lock down. I see all of that, but you are a leader. You are meant to lead. You are a politician. You're meant to take into consideration all of the aspects that are going on and keep the voters' intentions when they voted you in in mind, particularly economic intentions, because economics have repercussions. So when the health professionals give you this advice, do they also take into consideration the fact that it's going to kill this many people? Let's see what Sky News says about this when they're calculating the impact that the lockdowns have had on Victoria in the last six months. This is some pretty disturbing data from Kids Helpline. It dates from December through to the end of May, so the previous six months, and it's shown that nationwide there's been a 99% increase in interventions uh, from uh, Kids Helpline. That it's nationally, but in Victoria, that increase is a massive 184% increase. In terms of what these duty of care interventions are for, 44% of them in Victoria were for intent to immediately suicide and 31% of them were related to child abuse. Nationally, Kids Helpline has uh, responded to 862 duty of care suicide interventions over the past six months. Uh, that is attributed in part to the effects these extended lockdowns and restrictions are having on the mental health of particularly children in this instance. We know that in particular, Victoria has experienced uh, some of the most heavy and longest lockdowns. So it's no surprise that when you look at the data, the results here are the worst. And, and uh, thankfully, we're at least having this debate now. It needs to ha happen, uh, certainly in, as we move ahead with the vaccinations and discuss the possibility of any further lockdowns. This is an issue that needs to be addressed and considered by policy makers and bureaucrats alike. If you or anyone you know is feeling distressed, you can call Lifeline on 13 11 14 or visit lifeline.org.au for more support. It's madness. Madness and stupidity. If you look at that and you're like, yeah, let's give us some more of that. Let's put the kids in danger. Let's, let's lead to more anxiety, depression and suicide rates. Then you're insane. You're listening to the health bureaucrats too much. These people that push papers from one side of the desk to another. These same people, like in the case of Queensland, where the chief health officer ends up becoming the governor. These are politicians. They are not doctors. And don't even get me started on the discussion about drugs that we could be using to actually treat this virus. Now, when it comes to what's going on in New South Wales, Gladys, it's in your hands. You can either follow what this fringe, snooty elites are saying in the media, like on Q&A, and take, take your cues from them, a show that's incredibly failing, a show that aired last night that got a fraction 
of the, of the views that that video I put out this week, which got half a million views. Or you can follow what the people actually want, which is to actually get things open, keep it open, be responsible with tra tracking and tracing. Sure, do the social distancing stuff. Sure, do the, um, do the, do the measures that you want to do to keep, keep things particularly clean. But locking down businesses, increasing depression, anxiety, suicide, not screening for cancers and all of that, that is not going to be a thing that happens. Now you might say, oh, we're not discouraging people from getting scans for uh, diseases and cancer and all of that. That doesn't matter. The policies that you put in place that scare people, that the media is doing, that are pushing, the media is pushing you in a direction just so that they're just trying to get points. They're just trying to beat you on stuff. Don't listen to them. They are not the mainstream. They are not. The polls they are, they are doing are not the mainstream. If you do a credible poll of Sydney, you will find that the inner city people is not necessarily the opinion of the majority. Please be smart about this. Do not listen to the media. They are insane people who do not lose their jobs. They do not lose their income from their job. They can do their job in studio or from home or whatever. Most people can't do that in New South Wales. And you need to please recognize that. I know that you're different to, one, to the other premiers. I know it. So please demonstrate that once again, the, a reasonable approach. You don't need to be doing these lockdowns. It's insane. And if you think that it's saving more lives than it's, than it's actually killing, you're wrong. You are wrong. And I encourage you to read this study from the UK who have gone through some, of the, some really rough lockdowns over the last year. Check it out. Don't listen to a thing I say. Always fact check it. And I hope, I hope that, you know, I hope that you come out on the right side of this because you can be damn well sure, if not, I will be reminding people exactly of what you have done wrong over the course of your few years. And there's plenty, there's plenty already. So please make the right decision on this. You've only got votes to gain from people and confidence to gain on this. Okay, everyone, have a good day. Have a good weekend. What you can anyway.